Dan, today Dr. Ali Hassoun told me Huntsville Hospital is using the steroid prednisone to treat some of its coronavirus patients. However, he said there still isn't enough research to know its effectiveness. These are the ones who's in the ICU, have a lot of inflammation, might be intubated, um, you know, having fever and other markers of inflammation. Dr. Ali Hassoun is an infectious disease specialist at Huntsville Hospital. He told me the steroid prednisone has been given to some coronavirus patients who are hospitalized, but they are not using dexamethasone so far. He explained, however, he would only give steroids to the sickest patients because the medication can have adverse effects, and if they're at the hospital, the patients can be monitored, but it can help fight inflammation. Really, we're going to need to use it wisely. We're going to need to use it in the right population so everybody can benefit from it. Hassoun told me currently steroids are pretty widely available and affordable. However, he doesn't know if that could change if they're proven to help seriously ill coronavirus patients. Researchers in England estimate the drug would prevent deaths in one in every eight patients treated while on a breathing machine. The drug there was administered through an IV. Hassoun said since the first coronavirus case was announced in Alabama back in March, Research has come a long way, but he said there isn't one treatment people should feel comfortable with just yet, and you should still try to avoid getting sick. We don't have a bulletproof treatment. We don't have a treatment that we can be comfortably saying, this is the best thing, we're going to use it, and our patient going to be good. Now, the doctor said the study is promising, but he'd like to see more research and data before saying for sure that steroids can help patients with coronavirus. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.